wife to retaliate and slap the man, which I am not saying it is right. I don't even have the power to slap anybody. But the truth is, why is people? Why are people not looking at the root cause of all this problem? And I see comments. You know, I see comments saying that the women, the women we have now, they are not patient enough. You know, our parents and our, our, our grandparents, they, 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 they were no divorce. They were able to hold their home. Please read my lips. What happened in the good old days? I'm saying it now. All those our parents, our grandparents, I've said it and I've, I'm going to say it again. What happened then? It was not union. What happened then was not love. What happened there was obligation. And I, I will tell you what I mean by obligation. If you are here, if you are listening to me, and you can tell me that your grandmother and your grandfather courted for two years before they got married in the olden days, drop your comments in the comment section below. That it actually happened, they told you. What happened then was the daughter of my friend come and marry the son of my friend. They match make them and they are living together. You can't say the kind of bond we have now where a man will see a woman and say, oh, I love this woman. We go, go to any length to get the woman, caught for like two, three years, have a relationship, have an understanding, have love, genuine love growing between them. And now they are settling down to get married. You can't compare that to what we had in the good old days. Where one man, we have two, three, four, five, like 10, 15 wives in a house. You know, taking turns to sleep in each other's room. Are you telling me there was love in those good old days? So they were only obliged. You know, it was like marriage then was like an obligation. The marriages they were having there was when even the, 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 the husband would travel out and they would use picture. You know, the woman would stand and they would use picture and they would say, Oh, Malagbaja, this, marry and start having children. What existed in the good old days? is obligation where husband or uh, two friends will say oh yeah let our children let them marry some don't even know themselves so you can't compare to now and in the good old days you can't you can't compare the level of support that women gave to their husbands and now the level of support i'm not talking about women who stay at home 247 to watch Z World or to watch um, African Magic. I'm talking about women of substance that are going extra mile to support their husband. They are going extra mile to support their own. You can't compare what they would take now with what women of them would take. Women of them were not working. Women of them, they were not supportive. They were just at home waiting for the husband or they were even in the farm. But fine, I'm, I wasn't born then. I'm not holding brief for them. But you guys should stop saying eh, what, our women then. Those women then, did they tell you they were happily married? It was these same women that we tell us that, oh, I was staying in my marriage. I was, mar I was managing it because of my children. Were they happy? Why are you comparing our generation with their generation? Did they tell you they were happy? Did they tell you that if they come again, they will marry the same man? We should start changing the narrative. We should train our sons to be gentlemen. We should train our son not to be physically or emotionally abusive. Don't let's rationalize abuse. At any level, it is not done. The moment you raise your hand against a woman, what what respect do you want? Even if the woman doesn't retaliate, if the woman doesn't, you know, call family members or whatever, you are losing your self-respect. So whatever you get from it, just take it. And again, to all mothers, personally, you know, I pray for happy home for my daughter. But the truth is, if my daughter come to me tomorrow and say, mommy, my husband slapped me or my mother-in-law slapped me. Now, this is a day in talking. This is what I would do. I'm not the one in the marriage. I'm going to ask her as an individual, what do you want? What do you want? It is not in my place, even as a mother, to influence what she wants because she's a separate individual. She's a free moral agent on her own. So I'm going to go by what she wants. Even if what she wants is not best for her, who am I to impose what I think is right? Do I know what is right? 
So when ladies go home, go to their parents to tell them this is what I'm facing in my house, at times they just need some, some they, they, they need time out. The only thing our parents will do, especially our mothers, they know themselves, they are watching. They will say, go back. That's husband asked for you. Go and manage it. And that's why some of these women are dying in their marriages. And believe you me, I know it's not just um, women alone. There are also some women that are abusive in their home. I know women that actually beat their husband. So now let's do it both ways. If a man is also not comfortable, if he has his or her reasons, do not judge. Do not, you know, impose anyone on anybody. So I don't know where we get these narratives from that, oh, our parents, they want the best for us. When we're having issues, go back, go back, go back. Without even sitting down and thinking, going back, is this safe going back? From what the lady said, the man has slapped her. The mother-in-law has slapped her twice. They sent her packing. And the woman is all saying, okay, you know what? Let me even go there and uh, you know, uh, uh, appeal to them. Let's call family members. The woman is instructing her daughter to go back. Maybe that going back is going back to her, dream, her grave. Nobody knows. So I'm not saying women should not respect their husband. But the truth and what I am saying is, don't let us rationalize men beating women don't let us rationalize physical abuse especially from men to women because the more we keep you know defending it and and seeing it as normal the children we are bringing up now we see it as the norm they'll say that ah uh, it's not a big deal so we need to change the narratives. We need to change the narratives. I'm not saying what lady has done is right or wrong or this, but for me as an individual, I like to look at the root cause. You cheated, she scrolled through your phone, you slapped her. Even if you want to, you know, you want to say she has no right to scroll through your phone, it will be a discussion for another day. That is my opinion. 